Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Roar. Roar, your source for all of Milton Middle School news. This week, we're focusing in on our agriculture and FFA programs. Madam Vice President, are all officers at their stations? The Sentinel, stationed by the door. The Reporter, stationed by the flag. The Treasurer, stationed at the emblem of Washington. The Secretary, stationed by the ear of corn. The Advisor, stationed by the owl. Madam Vice President, what are you stationed by? The plow. And where is the president stationed? The rising sun. Madam President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you. We are now holding a meeting of the Milton Middle School FFA officers. What is FFA? FFA is an organization based on leadership where we do multiple competitions and other things throughout the year. Xavier, why did you join FFA? Uh, it teaches you some things that you don't learn in other classes and it's a lot of fun. So what do y'all do in FFA? Um, we do chapter meetings and we show up there and stuff. And what's your favorite thing to do? CDs. Okay. okay. What is CDs? Uh, career development events. What kind of stuff do you guys do in FFA? We do a lot of challenges and whenever we're in the FFA room we do a lot of these games that help us with our teamwork and we do a lot of things that help our community. What do y'all do in FFA? Right now I'm doing quiz bowl, but we also have creed speaking and you can also make your own speech. Is that it? Yes. You sure? And tractor driving. So it wasn't it? <laughs> Why did you decide to join FFA? To make friends and learn about agriculture. So uh, what competitions do you compete in in FFA? Tractor drive. And that's about it. What kind of stuff do you guys do in FFA? Uh, well, we have competitions. We have quiz bowl, tractor driving. Um, we have uh, CDEs. We also have the fair, which I mean that's not really a competition, but um, and then also we have chapter meetings every other week, and those are on Tuesdays from whenever in school ends to 4:30. Thank you. I'm not in FFA, but it sounds fun. What are you doing in agriculture right now? We're learning about plants. What's your favorite part? Uh, watching the chicks hatch. What are you guys doing in agriculture right now? Well, in agriculture, we're learning about the basic parts of the plant. And what's your favorite part about that? The debate of what, of what a food is either a fruit or a vegetable. <laughs> what are you doing in agriculture right now? Learning about plants. What's your favorite part? Watching the chicks hatch. What are you doing in agriculture right now? We're learning about plants. Figures. And what's your favorite part? Learning about the plants. Valid. So here at MMS, we offer agriculture as a class, but we also have an FFA chapter. So let's go speak with the agriculture teacher, Ms. Jeffrey. Hey, Ms. Jeffrey. Hey, Olivia. So I was wondering if you could tell me more about our FFA chapter. So our FFA chapter has about 30 students in it, and it's a youth organization based in agriculture, but we're focused on career, le or career success, premier leadership, and personal growth of our students. So you don't have to live on a farm, you don't have to raise animals, you don't even have to grow a garden if you don't want to, but it's all based in agriculture. Oh, okay. And what do you guys do in the FFA chapter? Um, our FFA chapter, we get to go to contests like tractor driving, which for middle schoolers is actually just a lawnmower. Um, we have FFA quiz bowl, we do agri-science um, career development events and food science career development events, and they get to attend leadership conferences throughout the year. That's really cool. and. What is this that we're in right now? This is our greenhouse. This is our learning lab. Um, and our FFA hosts a spring plant sale as our main fundraiser throughout the year. But all the classes get a chance to work in the greenhouse. So what is the spring plant sale? Um, our spring plant sale is where we open up our greenhouse to the public. And we have the opportunity to sell flowers and vegetables and herbs and hanging baskets to people who want to support our FFA chapter. Oh, that's really cool. And can you give me a tour of this greenhouse? Yeah, sure. So the greenhouse is slowly starting to fill up for the year. Um, in about three weeks, the greenhouse will be completely full. So we have little baby herbs and ferns and hanging baskets getting ready for our plant sale and our big assortment of flowers that are already potted and ready to go. Now, what kind of flowers do we have? Um, so we have greenery, like this one's called a wandering Jew, which we start from cuttings, and the kids have 100% involvement in starting these ones. We have lantana, which deer don't like to eat. Gerber daisies, spike grass, spider plants, vinca vines, 
purslane, and geraniums. I see jalapenos right there. Yeah, we actually started some peppers early this year to see if we could um, get the peppers to start without the um, chipmunk eating the greenhouse plants this year. Oh, okay. These are ferns over here, right? The ones on the bottom. Yep. These okay. ferns um, we'll take care of for the next month and a half, two months before they're beautiful and ready to go in the spring plant sale. All right, and let's walk down here and you can show me some more. Okay. Down here is probably the kids and my favorite part of the greenhouse. We have our succulent shelves. So we have now about 35 different succulents um, and we'll have smaller versions available for sale during the plant sale. And each one of these succulents is born from what we call our parent plants, which are our bigger plants hiding in here. That's really cool. So all you gotta do is take a part and it'll grow a new plant. That's great. Now, what's going on over there? Over there is our planting area at the moment. So we have um, table space to work on planting seeds, soil. Um, we have pieces of our new hydroponic system that's not set up all the way yet. Um, but soon, or hopefully by next school year, we hope to have our hydroponic system set up. Well, I think that's all for that. Thank you for showing me the greenhouse. No problem. Come back later. Yeah, I will. And now a word from our sponsor. Rays. Did you know that 2.5 million U.S. middle school and high school students currently use e-cigarettes? Some people think that vaping is cool, but all it does for you is cause problems to your health. Did you know that vaping produces airborne chemicals that are inhaled into your lungs? Not only that, but vapes contain nicotine. Nicotine is a chemical that can cause anxiety, depression, and mood swings. Also, in teens, nicotine can mess with how your brain develops. Especially the part of your brain that controls attention and learning ability. Vaping releases the chemical dopamine into your brain. This makes you have a nicotine dependence, and that's hard to get rid of. And that's what big tobacco companies want. Young people, like us, to get hooked on their products and profit from our addiction. As you can see, vaping can do more bad than good for your body and for your mental health. So make the right choice. Don't, Don't vape! vape! And now, this week's Panther Picks. We asked you which you prefer, English or math. Danny, which one do you like better? English. We agree! Yay! Uh, yeah! Huff off. Huff off. Don't ruin it. Okay. So, like Caleb's brother, English or math? Um, I'd say science. So, Mr. Cruz, English or math, which one do you prefer? English. So, do you like math or English better? Math, because it's easy. English or math? English. Thank you. Math or English? Math. Math. English or math? English. Thank English or math? Math or English? Math. Math. So math or English? Math. King Will the Third. Do you like math or English better? Lunch. Math or English? English. What about you? Math or English? English. Math or English? Math. Agreed. Math or English? Math. Math or English, Anna? Math. So Mr. Call, math or English? Math. Sounds about right, thank you. Raylan, English or math? Um, I personally, I like Arvon better. Math or English? I know most students prefer math, but English, of course. Joey, English or math? Math. Igoishima, hola. Hola. English or math? Math. Math. English. Natalie, English or math? English. English or math? English. You sure? Yeah. English or math? Sorry, Miss Megan, I love you, but English. Aiden, English or math? Uh, English because I don't know what two plus two is. Go. English or math? English. So math or English? Definitely English. Love you, Miss Dilly. English or math? Um, math. Why math? It's just better because, like, I'm better at that, so. Are you, though? What's two plus two? Incorrect. He's not good. English or math? 
math. I, A, 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 A. So, do you prefer math or English? English. English or math? Math. Mr. Atkins, yes. English or math? Well, since I'm a science teacher, I, I would definitely say math. Okay, thank you. Go. English or math? I'm going to have to say martial arts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. English or math? PE. Sophia, English or math? I prefer to keep my brain cells. Mr. Mann, English or math? Definitely math. I've taught math for six years here, so 100% math all the way. So, uh, Griffin, math or English? Um, I'd probably have to say math. It's just, it's, it's always been easier for me to do, so I've kind of enjoyed it more. I can't breathe. Okay, thank you. You're well, that's it for this week. He's still You're supposed to... Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on all of our socials at Milton Middle School. And remember, Go Panthers! Never wanna miss you again. You. <laughs> I need the camera though. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You're gonna have to don't. catch me first. Oh my God, I'm not. Oh. We'll learn about what we're, what we're doing. Hey.